How would you define somebody in the clean lifestyle? Uh, 50 Cent. And you talking about his book is called what? Get Rich. Uh, hustle Harder. Hustle Harder. Um, hustle Smarter. Um, he has a chapter in the book, I think it's called, I can't, well, I can't remember the name of it, but it's chapter two for sure. He was talking about ways that he lives his lifestyle, or lives his life. So one of the ways he was talking about was um, not drinking as much alcohol um, in any type of environment that he's in. Secondly was he works out every single day, no matter what the case may be. And then lastly, he talks about how he maneuvers environments with being completely sober, without doing drugs, alcohol, whatever the case may be. I thought it was incredible how he talked about that because one of the things that I'm working on as myself right now is I used to drink excessively. I mean, three to four, three to four times a week. Um, but as of lately, <laughs> and I say lately, probably three or four weeks. If that, I've been trying to drink like one or time, one or two times a week, um, just when I'm like recording or when I'm, uh, you know, just trying to uh, get some get some thoughts going and get some um, the flowage of anything that's going on in my creative mind. But what I've learned is the when 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 drinking or smoking or whatever drug that you do, when it gets away the priorities prioritizing of the um, the goals that you got in front of you, it can get real toxic. So what I mean by that is if you know you have a meeting that next day, but you drink anyways because you know that you still go to that meeting, you might drink or you might wake up four or five uh, minutes before your actual meeting, you know you're gonna make it because it's only 30 seconds away from your house, that's toxic. If you know you're gonna smoke two to three months at night and you know that yeah, it, may, it might make you oversleep an hour before the time that you wanna get up, that's toxic. So what you gotta learn as an entrepreneur, as a um, disciplined person, or somebody who's so um, engaged and um, focused on their life, you gotta make sure that you are in your bag at all times, meaning that you are focused enough to know that drugs, alcohol, or any type of distraction is not distracting your life. I think the problem is with a lot of people is, especially to people in Toledo specifically, they cannot overcome that distraction or that lifestyle that they live on right now. So the instant gratification of getting drunk, getting high, or controlling their alcohol substances or the drug substances that they're uh, engaging in their everyday life is fucking up their priorities in life. So when they talking about the million dollars that they want in their life, they still are unable to put that bottle of Anejo down because that Anejo tastes better than actually getting money put in their pocket. And I think that's ass backwards because if you're putting that into the environment and the energy that you live in every day, why the hell are you saying it publicly? You know you're not ready for it, so stop the act, stop the complaining. If you really want to put in that work, put the anejo down, put the heroin down, put the weed down, and really get to it. You know how many entrepreneurs, or excuse me, you know how many self gurus really out here? I can name a billion of them. They see them every day on their social media, every single day. People from that same city that they grew up with. Ain't a lack of motivation, it's a lack of discipline. So you know that if they know that they gotta prioritize their schedule every single day, they know they're not supposed to drink or smoke that day, or they know that they gotta pick up their family that day and then drop them off at daycare and they got a full schedule, but they still don't wanna do it because they know they gotta have a zip at home to smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, just having them type of thoughts and ideas in place, I mean, you got goals in life. What the hell are you, what the hell are you playing around with it for? You know what I'm saying? Like we, it's just it's just certain things that we don't do no more. Um, it's 2020, so why are you still doing the same habits that people have done previously that you know don't work? We've seen millions of people smoke weed and not be productive. That's normal. We've seen millions of people drink until they have liver cancer and that don't work. It's normal. But what we we, what we shy away from is people that really put goals in place and put that to the side or put that to a minimal use and they go on to everything that they want. Why shy away from that when you know that the other shit doesn't work? It's pointless. And it messes up your public view too. Correct. And I was just talking, y'all was just talking about that with mom. So what I was talking to my mom about was a lot of people, Kelly Hughes. Kelly Hughes, shout out to Kelly Hughes, Ernie Lazarus Educational Center. Yeah, um, shout out to Big G, my father, Kelly Hughes, senior, Total Circuit Fitness, in your face. Um, but what I was talking to my mom about was how people want this, uh, this 
um, this this profile of I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner, but you're acting the way of an employee or somebody who don't have anything to lose. So when I when I mean by that is you out in the public talking about some ah we in the club getting drunk or we doing this we doing that shouts out to me in Toledo whoa 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 that shit is nasty for a public profile you know why that's na why that's nasty it's because you got people out here who are investing into your business or investing into the character that they thought is taking care of their services that they paid for and you out here acting like somebody that belong on the street. Which, why, why am I investing in your services when you can't even carry yourself in a proper posture way to where I know that you're taking care of business and you're not acting in the ways that I'm acting? If we be a hundred and nine times, excuse me, eight out of the ten times, the customers act like sporadically because they know, hell, I'm just take, I'm just paying them to take care of my services. I don't need to act like a, a, a business or an entrepreneur, a business owner or an entrepreneur. I'm just acting because I, like I'm paid them and I can go live my life. Versus the entrepreneur, they don't got no days off. The employee got two days or a day off during the week. We don't, entrepreneurs work every single day, nine times out of 10, uh, 365. There's no, there's no off days. Even when we think we got an off day, we don't have an off day. So it's like, why, why are you portraying or publicizing the profile that you really think you got versus you acting like the um, the customer base that you have or somebody who doesn't have anything to lose. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with your purpose. And when you like get to that, like Toledo, for example, mm -hmm. you know that like, well not even just Toledo, like that city viewing. Okay? Local viewing. Local, like, mm -hmm. ah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that is very contagious. And you and that, it's like you are now in that environment of yeah, and you stuck people. in that box. And then you start getting getting to those habits. Right. Like where entrepreneurs are uh, don't take a more professional like they they view we were talking about this the other day. They right. don't view it as a business venture, they view it as a hustle. Which is silly. Very silly. What I just had, I just literally uh I just ran into somebody who um Shouts out, man, I'm, and I'm not gonna butcher this name even while I'm on camera because their vegan scare pro, uh, their vegan skin products is phenomenal. I've been using it for the past two to three weeks. It is organic glisten. What I, I can read you the exact proper, um, or excuse me, our actual messages. Basically, I asked was, okay, you guys shit? Do you guys have a, uh, you have an address that you can? Uh, or me, do you have an address I can pick up from or whenever? And in my mind, I, as a real, as a thorough entrepreneur and business owner, I know that they don't have somewhere where I can pick the products up from. I know that they don't have a business bank account. They're doing everything from Cash App. But what they did was that was so great was I knew that me on the outside looking in, I knew they didn't even have none of that. But the customer service behind that was he, the, the guy, I don't, it's the customer service rep, bro. Um, he basically said, no problem at all. Uh, I know you can't pick it up. We still gonna come drop it off at your house. And they located in Ypsilanti, Michigan, and I'm in Toledo, Ohio. But the fact that they got that thoroughness and on their profile, they not in the club. They not, they not looking at it as, all oh, um, order this soap or order this body scrub at this such and such and such, and they in the club. No, their entire profile is clean. The aesthetics is clean. Um, their their POV, the point of view is clean. Everything is so thorough to where you have you have nothing in question of this is an actual legit business. Versus me, who I'm a business owner and I know what things are in place where you need to be bank applying. You need to have these things in order where you look like a legit business. On the outside looking in, Organic Glisten did everything they was supposed to do. They provided a product, they were in proper communication with their customer or their lead, which was me, and they still provided a product where it was phenomenal and everything is working on my face. I just said, my face is looking so glistening. It's looking great. It's looking phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? To where I ain't got no bumps on my face. Or I know it's hard, but like, I got the my dark spots even and out, like, and it's all because they provided a great service and they provided a great product and they deserve all the kudos possible because I know that, and this is not a, a, a 
nag against them, but I know that they got stuff that they can really up up. And once they do, they gon' their business gonna flare up even 20 times more. To double back to what you were saying of uh, people look at it as a business versus a hustle. People look at it as a business where everything is put in place to where I'm giving up everything else, my nine to five, or um, I'm giving up everything that's not contributing to my business. I'm giving all that up. I'm looking towards that. Now let's go to the hustle. The hustle is I'm working my nine to five. I got a cash app set up. Listen, I'm good at this. I can do this every now and then. I'm making my little ends meet. But the side money, I can go to the mall where I can pick my, my, my son's daycare or X, Y, and Z. Whatever expense you got set up, you're doing it for that. But when you're doing it for a business, you're doing it to pass it on to your hair. You're doing it to pass it on to the legacy that you got. Whatever the case may be. But stop, if you in that, that middle line or if you want to go to a big side hustle or a business, stop acting like you're a business owner when really you just got an expensive hobby. So stop acting like you in the business where you out here, stop acting like you in the business where you out here really, you just out here having fun or just trying to make a little ends meet or put some side money in your pocket where you insult a real business owner who really putting that LLC in place, putting that EIN in place, putting that business bank account in place, putting that marketing team in place, putting your product placement in place, investing in your whole entire team. Stop it. If you ain't you can tell. And, and, No, and not only that, stop it. No, people can't tell. Because what you don't understand, you may never know. So people can look at um, a business out of XYZ and go, well, oh, that's a real business. But then you got a business owner who really got everything in place and go, man, you still ain't took care of that second step. You heard the emphasis on that second step. You still ain't took care of that? Man, then you shouldn't even, you, that should have been taken care of before you even release or produce your product launch. So when I come out of my products or when I come out of my services, everything is put in order. My marketing, my uh, social media, my, 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 uh, my financials, my marketing. Everything is put in place before I do any of that. Because the thing is, I'm not coming out as a half-assed product. I'm coming out full blast. So when you see my services and products, anybody that come in, this is what's put in place and I'm gonna send it to you. And you're gonna know the difference between a real company versus somebody who's doing this after they nine to five. 